Hi guys, I'm Mark and welcome to Mark's Action Figure Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the Transformers Titans Return Blur. I've been actually been after this one for quite a while. Um, I heard about him coming out some time ago and I've just literally just been waiting for him to be released. He finally got released but then I got him for Christmas. So I had to wait until I got him. Unfortunately, I threw all the packaging out. So I can't show you what the box looked like. Yeah, so this is Blur. Most famous for being the character from the original 80s movie that did absolutely nothing. But yeah, here he is in his Cybertronian car mode, should we say. Yeah. He's a really nice little little vehicle everything packs away quite nicely you can't really see any obvious limb parts in this mode uh, mostly just blue plus well turquoise should we say turquoise plastic uh, some light blue paint apps on the front with the Autobot symbol uh, some more paint apps on here there isn't actually a lot of paint on him to be honest he's mostly just this this turquoise uh, plastic. Uh, but yeah, there's some nice little details on him anyway to make up for the lack of paint. Uh, he's got a little cockpit which opens up and you can sit your Titan Master. Let's see how close I can get without this getting blurry. This is the Titan Master, or otherwise known as Headmasters, but for some reason they've renamed them. Uh, this is Hyperfire. He's got little paint apps on his face. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, little silver paint apps on his arms. Uh, his arms do move up slightly. Nice little bit of sculpted detail on them. Uh, his legs move up and they've got little bends in the knees so you can sit him inside that cockpit quite nicely and get that closed and if it's in there perfect but yeah it's uh, it is quite a nice vehicle um, a lot of the past ones I've had recently there's been a lot of like oh that's an arm there or that's obviously used to be a leg or you can see the face but with it being a, a Titan Master you can hide the, the heads obviously uh, you can see the hands underneath but if, you, if he's in vehicle mode you're not going to be displaying him like that are you to be honest so it doesn't really matter uh, yeah he comes with a uh, it comes with a little gun that you can, I mean, you can put it on there for storage or to give him a little weapon. Uh, there's another point on there that you can put in as well. Um, there's little pegs, I don't know if you can see them, just there where you can, I don't know. stand Titan Masters on the side I don't know why you'd want to do that but you can it's an option right so I suppose we best get him into his robot mode uh, first of all pull his arms out and turn them around these bits pull back on a hinge just like that reveal his hand second arms just the same sorry he's a bit tight I haven't really transformed him since I got him uh, then you want to pull this part down it just clips in behind snaps away really simple transformation this one to be honest so yeah you just want to separate this bit 
here and then basically you just grab this bit and fold it out it opens up exposes the thigh you just pull it down twist that round and pull his foot down that's one leg second leg same as the first turn that round Ooh, wrong way I'm put that down there uh, you want to fold this seat in fold that back down there like that pull his arms down and there you go we have one blur well a headless blur you want to take hyper fire and just bend his legs round like that and then there's Blur's face that just presses in on the top there you can see and it just pushes in quite tight this one so just give it a little push and there we have Blur complete in his robot mode uh, I'm really happy with this one he looks awesome uh, again you can't really see many vehicle I mean until you turn him round obviously but from the front you can't really see any vehicle parts on him apart from his windscreen uh, but yeah everything just looks really nice on him he, nothing's obviously part of a vehicle is what I mean to say but uh, yeah he's, he's nice I'll give you a close look at his face A little bit of light blue on his face and a different blue on his eyes. Would have been nice with some light piping on this, but I suppose they can't really do it. Oh, I forgot to pop that bit up actually on his head. Yeah, there's a little a little nubbin that just pulls up on his head. And that's him fully completed. Sorry, it's a bit, I've, I haven't really transformed this one much, to be honest. Um, as soon as I opened him up, I put him in robot mode and he's been left like that uh, since Christmas because I've been waiting to do this review so but yeah take a closer look there's his head his head can do a full 360 you can look up slightly down slightly uh, head can move side to side kind of uh, the arms are on a hinge on here then with a full 360 twist there but they move up like that kind of if you've got the arms straight, he kind of knocks his head with his huge uh, shoulders that he's got. Uh, the elbows move forward that much, 90 degrees. Back, they don't move at all. Um, there's a little bit of wrist swivel, full 360, should I say. Uh, second arm's exactly the same, obviously. Uh, he's got full waist swivel uh, ball joints on the hips so you can do a full 360 with those moves out Whoa. his leg will move out 90 degrees so it'll move forward that much and backwards that much you can get a full 90 degrees with the knees uh, and because of the feet there's no ankle pivot or anything because they're just a little flap that moves forward uh, his gun just slots in his hand like that and that's pretty much it to be honest uh, you can get him in some quite nice poses but yeah he's uh, he is a really nice figure there isn't really much to him to be honest yeah it's nice i mean there's a bit of kibble here yeah you can use this as a shield as well uh it just pops off uh i say a shield people have been using him saying that it's a gun or whatever but makes quite a nice shield i think but i prefer it on the back to be honest because well 
it's just too big to be sitting in hands in our collection uh, the cabinet's quite limited for room at the moment so i don't need anything in the way that can be knocking other figures over but yeah that's transformers titans return blur uh for more transformers reviews click here and subscribe to the channel uh, i'll put a playlist just here of my previous videos so check them out uh, give the video a like and i'll see you next time